MTD CNC have travelled to Leamington Spa today and we're at the CNC Training Academy. You'll notice that we've doubled up. Joe, what are we going to learn? Well, I believe we've come to learn about the basics of FANUC programming. It's going to be on a vertical machining centre and we know there's a massive skills and knowledge gap in the industry at the moment, but we're here to quite kind of dispel the myth and for people who haven't been in this, this sort of environment for many years, we're just here to put their minds at rest. There might be a bit of apprehension, might there, if you haven't sure. actually trained for a while. So let's go inside and meet with Jeff and get going. MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. So myself and Joe, we're in the training room. Uh, we're equipped now with our manuals and our notepads and I think we're ready to go, aren't we? Always ready, yeah. Good morning. Morning, Joe. Morning, morning Paul. Joe. All right. Right, the object today is that we're going to do some training on the FANUC control. So the first operation that we're going to be doing, we're going to call out a face mill and we're going to face the top of this component because it may be a rough finish on there. The second operation then will be to roll around the outside of it and then we're going to drill two holes and then we're going to chamfer it and then finally we're going to engrave your name on it. On a milling machine we do have three uh, axes. We've got the X, the Y and the Z axis. CNC Training Academy, Jeff, what are you specialists in? Well, we have the facility for training people in FANUC controls, uh, high behind controls, Siemens controls. We also do uh, maintenance courses for FANUC as well. And we can do operating and programming in both aspects of those. And how many, how many people would you train over the course of a, a year? Uh, last year, we trained just over 670 people for the well, that's including um, people here on site in Leamington, but we can actually also go to customer sites. We have six simulators there with all the facilities that you've been using today, and they also have the Hyde and Hind Siemens and FANUC controls on them, simulation and touch screens as well. Right, so let's get started by starting a program. So you need to go into uh, the edit button now. When you see your screen on the on the keys on the left hand side you'll see a button there called edit and edit means that you can actually put programs in and edit the programs. So when you're in edit you can now type in the program number and the program number we're going to be using today will be the letter O000 number one. And what would you class as the distinct advantages of using your service at the Training Academy as opposed to maybe another training establishment? Well, I've been in engineering now for nearly 40 years and um, the, I've worked for FANUC as uh, their overseas training instructor. So I have been in a fortunate position that I've been able to train people overseas, inside the UK, and also been teaching the UK machine tool agents as well throughout the whole of the UK. You made a spelling mistake, I see. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as bad as your, you see, your cycle time is twice as, that's because you're, you're a lot slower than me <laughs> and everything. So, once we've done all that, we're now, the next process now is to see the component being simulated in the machine tool. If you press the right-hand side soft key, you'll find a soft key there called simulation. All right, and then press the start button here, and that will then, should see your component being manufactured through. So essentially then we, we, we're done, it's as easy as that. We've, it is, yes, we've, that's we've it. Programmed, we've programmed, we've all done. Made we're our part, to... we've simulated, we've checked it's okay. Yes. And, and now we put it on the machine Correct. and cut some metal. When you're on one of these courses, we always give you a USB stick. So your program that you've done on there now, we can take out, we can put it onto a USB stick for you, which I have one here for you. And then what we will do then, take it over to the machine, plug it into the machine, load it in, and then hopefully machine the component. The good bit. Okay. All right, let's go and do it. Into the vise. I'm going to tighten it up. And then I'm going to give it a bit of a whack with a hammer. Nip again. And then I'm going to shut the doors. And we're good to go.
So that's the end of the machining process. Let's have a look at my component. Scrap component. Full of burrs as well, oh. for sure. Perfect. Ah. Well, not quite as good as mine, because mine's got MTD training on it. And why wouldn't it? I've been on the course today and it's, you know, it's very easy to pick up actually. But as, a, as an operator or a programmer, sometimes there might be a little bit of apprehension to, to travel somewhere and sit in a classroom environment. Are you going to be challenged and asked questions? What would, you, what would you say to people watching on that? Basis? I think the main thing, yes you are right, it is apprehensive when you come into a classroom environment. But the way I operate is I need interactive people. I need to make people feel at ease with them when I'm training them. They need to have a little bit of banter with me, take the course seriously, obviously, but we need that sort of lightheartedness about it. And that's the whole way that me and the training academy work. But, but it isn't like a regime either where you're, you're beating the stick saying, come on, you've got to do this. Students, unfortunately, Paul. But, uh... And what would be the split in time you would spend in the classroom as opposed to maybe in, the, in operating a machine or seeing well, the we, fruits of your program? We have two separate courses. We have an operator course and a programmer course. And normally the programming course is, is probably about 90% inside the classroom. The operator course is it's also about 90% on the machine. We, also, we have to have some kind of crossover period. We need to teach a little bit of programming in order them, for them to operate the machine and we also need it vice versa as well. But mainly if you come on a course for programming you'll be in a classroom environment, if you come on operating you'll be at the machine doing the machine. And when, if I learn something today uh, that's going to change or there's going to be new technologies, new developments over the next year. Do you do like refresher courses? Do people often come once and then come back again in a year, two years time? Yes they do. Uh, we, we also have um, three types of courses. We have the beginners, we have an intermediate and we have an advanced programming course as well. We can teach Macro B which is a very high level programming system uh, where we can do a group of family of parts and we can give certain dimensions for those and the machine will go and machine those to your own requirements. And the controls that we've touched on, the Hayden Hayne, the Siemens and the Fanuc, when it comes to the machine tools, because that's essentially what you're going to be operating, what you do here it doesn't matter what kind of machine tool you have in your machine shop or what machine tool you're used to, does it? Not really, no. The, I think when you, if you go to um, any particular machine, they'll always have an operator's panel. The ISO codes and the European standards will also have the signs to tell you which is edit, memory mode. They're all universal throughout the whole of Europe. Um, you can normally operate a machine very much like another machine. So if you go from different types of machine to a different type of machine, that should be no problem for you at all. And I believe, like ourselves, when myself and Joe go away from today's exercise, it's not just new knowledge we go away with, I believe we also get a certificate for our efforts as well. Yeah, you've, you've been good students, you and Joe have been good students, and uh, I do have pleasure in presenting you with your certificate today. Well, to that say is, you have successfully uh, completed it. That, that is brilliant, Jeff, and I, I look forward to uh, adding this to my CV. I hope you put it in a nice place in the office. I will do. Thank okay. you. Thank Thanks, you. Jim. Thank, Thank you very you. much.